The Signal API is a platform for liquid democracy and also for applications beyond politics. This is the story of how lacrosse fans in Charlotte, North Carolina picked a new name for their team from a list of six candidates using a Signal prototype hosted on Facebook. The ballot part of the app was designed for efficiency and ease of use. It's actually a sortable list, which is ideal for ranked choice multi-candidate polls. It's easy to understand because it works just like the Netflix movie queue. Here's how the Charlotte lacrosse voting played out using the Borda method. Identifying winners and losers is just a matter of applying different mathematical algorithms. What's important here is how the graphs tell stories. Convex patterns indicate broader popularity, like these for legion, charge, and power. Concave patterns indicate polarizing controversy, like these for hounds and flow. Depth of support explains why charge placed higher than flow, even though flow has more first choice votes. It's a reminder of Abraham Lincoln's strategy for getting nominated by the Republican Party in 1860. Leading up to the convention, he was in a crowded, fragmented race. He knew no one would start out with a majority of first choice votes, so he won by positioning himself as the most broadly popular second choice. This graph shows the Charlotte lacrosse results as a round-by-round -round instant runoff. It plays out from the bottom up. The first round results here match the first place votes in the border blocks. Charlotte Power got the lowest number of first place votes and was eliminated, activating the second choice votes among its supporters. These lines show where the activated votes moved, with the largest fragment going to Charlotte Charge. The process of elimination, activation, and transfer was repeated until Legion reached 50%. Something that stands out is that Charge places higher than Flow in the board account, but lower in instant runoff. Flow had an enthusiastic base of first choice voters, but was otherwise weak. Charge, on the other hand, demonstrated deeper support and broader favorability across the voting population. It's very likely that pollsters could take advantage of these kinds of data-driven insights. Understanding the nuances of favorability is critical when drawing up strategies for political campaigns. There's even more to the story when you look deeper. It's easy to see that charge supporters could have swung the outcome of the runoff if they had come together around a second choice. Hound supporters were even more numerous, so they had the same opportunity to consolidate their power. Drilling down for demographics within those groups could tell a lot. The implications are clear. This would be catnip for pollsters who could use that information in focus groups to develop micro-targeted messaging and advertising. Micro-targeting has become a critical tool among professional political leaders. They're getting smarter and smarter at skilled use of polling and demographics. Now they're mastering big data to pick out fine-sliced categories of voters and then craft messages precisely for them. But Signal also supports macro-targeting. It's available to people who want to get smarter at picking their leaders, and issue-oriented voters can use Signal's polling and analytics services to craft messages that probe for the root of their shared concerns. This achieves more than just boosting a group's prominence among tactical micro-targeters. Macro-targeting can translate into real outcomes that advance common interests as users learn to forge durable messaging strategies. It's a matter of taking control of the stories being told inside these graphs. Finally, consider how the Charlotte the Cross vote plays out under the Condorcet method. This table is just an early stage prototype for an interactive graph, but it also has a story to tell. Note how it matches each candidate's total of ranks cast. Also, the name Legion wins again, while the name Monarchs comes in second again. So there's more confidence in the results when all the systems match. But Charge places third here while Flow is last. That outcome is radically different from the others. This is the virtue of Condorcet's round-robin simulation. It reveals the potential weakness of controversial candidates in head-to-head -head matchups. More than any other system, Condorcet favors candidates who can attract across-the-board support. Each of these methods was designed to help communities make decisions through fair and legitimate processes. Each comes with strengths and weaknesses. Signal combines the inherent powers of all these ranked choice voting methods with modern data analytics. Advancing this technology will open new frontiers in political polling and interactive crowdsourcing. 
After the name Legion won this vote on Facebook, the team owners ran more polls on other sites and ultimately announced Hounds as the winner.